Hello, my name is Amy Ecker and welcome to my channel. So today I'm doing kind of a mini collection haul. Um, I've ordered some stuff over the past couple weeks and wanted to share those with you. So first and foremost, you see this bad boy in my hand. What is it? What is it you say? It's Dyson. So I've been absolutely intrigued by the Dyson and I hadn't ordered it because it might be a bit expensive, I'll just say. But I've tried to use like my coupon on Ulta that when I have a 20% off an item or whatever and Ulta will not let you use the 20% off coupon with this. So, you know, I waited a little bit longer and then Sephora did a 20% off VIB and they actually let me use it on this. So I decided at that point, if I could get it for 20% off, I needed to try it. Holy crud, this thing is crazy. So first of all, um, my regular hair dryer sounds like a dying truck in comparison. This sounds like a Learjet taking off. A little quieter than my other hair dryer, but it this thing is like a definitely a wind tunnel so my hair dries at such a fast speed with this i don't know that i would necessarily recommend this for um, women that have really thin hair because my hair is thin and it dries it at a massive fast rate and it's just crazy it does come with some additional attachments which i have tried the diffuser which is nice because again this thing has some major power and it, when it says it cuts your dry time, it cuts your dry time. Like you need to be spot on with like styling your hair and, and if you're using a round brush, making sure it's, it's right because this baby dries very fast. And then it has some additional little attachments here. So I've been having fun using this, but again, I can't believe how fast this thing like cuts dry time. I there's no words to describe it. It is again expensive and I wouldn't have bought it had I not gotten 20% off. Um, I just have to be honest with y'all, but I am glad that I got it to be, I mean, it's crazy how quick it dries. Okay, I'll quit going on and on about it. All right, let's see what else I got. Okay, so now I'll just pull this little box up here now that we got Dyson out of the way and we'll talk about what else I bought. Back there are some of the clothing items um, that I've purchased. I probably won't necessarily show those to you because they're, it's all Chiefs related. So unless you're a Chiefs fan and you're really into football, you probably aren't going to be overly excited about that little pile right there. I am. Okay, so back to the makeup items. I did pick up this Clover palette from Too Faced and I... I I like it. So when it first came out, I wasn't sure about the colors. I thought, I don't know, is this something I can use? And then I thought, well, Amy, you're really into rescuing dogs and helping animals and you are a sucker for animals. And a bit of the money that they received from the purchase of this palette did go to a nonprofit. So I, I had to say, well, okay, even if it's not, necessarily my colors. I need to buy it just for that reason. Plus, I love it. Look at how cute this is. I mean, come on now. Absolutely adorable. Well, I will say that I have used this palette at least once and you can tell kind of by the inside that I've, I've used it and I like the colors. Um, on the surface, the colors kind of were really bright and in your face, but the moment I started using them and blending them, I love that palette. It's too cute to not have. I love this palette. Okay, so next I have done um, a video. I used the new Jouer, so I'm not gonna tell you exactly about Jouer and do a spoiler alert for my video as a whole, but I will say, after I move that weird piece of hair, sorry, ADD, squirrel. So I did use the Jouer. I will say I pulled the colors offline and like I always do because I don't go into a store to shop. I shop online and have it delivered. 
and the color that I got was too light for me and I want to say I used the porcelain and when I put it on it was just way way too light so they did send some additional samples so I do plan on trying some other colors to see which one matches better because the color that I bought myself online was it was just way way too too light as far as UA goes, um, I love their lippies. And so they have these little Christmas boxes. This one is called the Best of Metallic. I love the size. You guys have heard me get excited about these little lip colors because A, you can throw them in your purse. B, you can actually use a full lip color. Uh, I've got so many around here of the really big ones and I never go through a big one. So I really like these little tiny ones. So the metallics, I love, love, love metallics. I have used Jouer, I have um, a couple different color metallics in, or what, are, what is in here with the exception of papaya. Papaya. P -p 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 -p. And um, I do like this one. So very thrilled about that. Then I went and purchased the best of the toppers because again, I ha I do have one of these toppers and it's called, I believe it's this one, tan lines or skinny dip. I have one of these. It literally stays in my purse nonstop because it is a fantastic topper. So I wanted to be able to try frostbite, rose gold. The rose gold is gorgeous. Saint Tropez is gorgeous. This is a new shade called Sugar Plum and Stardust is a new one. So I wanted to be able to try all of those. Again, love the size, love the collection. But I couldn't stop there because they had another little lippy collection and this was called the Best of Nudes. I love nude lips because I like to do a bold eye. So I don't like doing a bold eye and a bold lip for the most part. I mean, I'll pull one off every once in a while, but it's too much for me. So I like doing, if I'm gonna do anything bold, I'd much rather have my eyes like, boom, stand out. So in this one, it is the best of the nudes collection and I look forward to trying some more of these colors that I don't already have. They did put papaya back in this one, so I have two, most likely. Sabrina, papaya's coming your way. Now let's see what else I got. Okay, so I did purchase a few, uh, oh, there's the Jouer. This was the color in, sorry, I lied to you, sand. I got it in the color sand. So Dose of Colors had a little bit of a sale going on, so I did I did decide to pick up the Desi and Katie. Whoop, how about that? Palette, or these three items here. So I got two lips and a highlighter, so the highlighter I got is Mirami. I'm really bad at pronouncing. I thought that could be really pretty. Maybe even more towards summer. It might be a, a tad bit too dark, but I did want to try that. And then I, I got this pretty nude color called No Shade. Very pretty. And I'm looking forward to trying this one called More Creamer, Please, which is exactly how my husband makes my coffee for me every morning. I do like Dose of Colors, their, their regular lip, liquid lip, but I've never tried any of their other products besides their liquid lip, so really thrilled about trying that. I am going to... Okay, so one of the other foundations that I've seen out and about that I wanted to try was the CYO foundations. These are through Walgreens. I've actually tried this one once, but I don't think I filmed a video yet as far as the first impression goes. Maybe I did and I just haven't edited it. Edited it, edited it, it. So that will be coming as far as the CYO goes. Then, I think I already talked about these, but I couldn't remember, so sometimes when I'm putting things in spots in my little beauty room, I sometimes don't always file it in where I'm going to go next with it. But I did pick up the Natasha Denona Starliners. I had purchased it in, in black and silver with the silver gold. Now I've got one with the blue and one with the purple. 
although in the packaging they look very very similar so it's going to be interesting to see these side by side when you when i actually apply them i think i've already talked about the it bye bye lines foundation not sure but i am going to be trying this out because again anything that'll help remove my wrinkles it will be highly appreciated I do like the liquid metal lipsticks. I like shine on my lips without having a lip gloss. I don't like lip glosses, but I like a shine. So, you know, kind of counterintuitive, unless you get the metals. So I did, as I mentioned, had the Jouer metal collection. So now I've got this little tiny collection here from Smashbox and it's got three colors. It's got Mob Squad, Foiled Brat, and Crimson Chrome. So I thought these could be really pretty for this upcoming Christmas, holiday, New Year's type look, especially this Crimson Chrome. That just looks really fun. Or it'll just work for my Chiefs every Sunday when I watch the games. Next I was on, now I'm forgetting what website it is. If I remember what website, I'll put it below. But basically, they kind of do a, for lack of a better word, a, a value product. I think each of these were $10. So this is the Royals collection, and this one is basically a knockoff of the Anastasia Beverly Hills palette. So I want to be able to take these side by side. Is that the right palette? Man, my brain isn't working today. But I do want to put these side by side and do kind of, you know, a high end and a low end comparing look. So I'm real excited about using the Royals palette to see how that works. And again, it was only like $10. 10 or 16, one of the two. Then we have these that are kind of a knockoff of Lime Crime, the Venus palette, which I do have. I've never actually used it, which is interesting to me, but this one was $10, so I picked this up. I will do, again, a high-end and low-end eye look with that because I'm just intrigued by this new little website I found that has inexpensive products that look like the more higher-end products. And this is another one of the Lime Crime so kind of another knockoff so i do once again look forward to trying these if they're really good i'm going to be excited because who doesn't want to look beautiful but not pay like an exorbitant amount on how you look hello then i did get the mean girls burn book and this is from storybook cosmetics so i've been following storybook cosmetics for a little while i purchased each one of the little storybooks that they put out i like their products as a whole but i love their marketing even more i don't know flip flop it um potato potato but i really love storybook cosmetics so i'm very excited about using the burn book Again, I love, because I'm an avid reader, I enjoy that they combine the, the books along with beautiful colors. It has a mirror. I can line them up on a bookshelf and make them look absolutely adorable. Just saying. I did pick up the Chloe Morello palette. This is her second palette that she's put out. So this will be kind of intriguing to try. I did enjoy her first palette this one did not the first palette came with actually like a little um, makeup bag which looked like that i actually carry it with me and use it every day so it comes with an eyeliner a lip and a mascara the palette has really pretty colors so i'm looking forward to digging into those i i love the lime color i love these kind of pinkish red colors so yeah, this is this pretty fun and fearless palette is going to be pretty fun. And I promise to be pretty fearless. I did pick up, oh, the last Morphe subscription did come in. So I do have those. I never filmed it. And I did pick up the Kat Von D liquid lipsticks this is her farm collection and i am a sucker for animals like i mentioned earlier 
I did have a pink pig at one time. His name was Wilbur. This pink pig's name is Julia, and I actually have one right now. Her name is Charlotte, and she's solid black. So love the fact that she works with the Farm Sanctuary, a nonprofit, to put out these colors. There's actually a fourth color, but it was too intense for me to be able to use every day, so I did not purchase that one. But we have the little chicken called Thimbalina, and we have the little lamb called Hilda. So I'm looking forward to testing these in a future video. And then lastly in my little shopping excursion is I picked up the heavy metal eyeliner from Urban Decay. I love me some glitter. Look how pretty that is. That could be fun for New Year's Eve also. At this point, I have probably six, seven, eight different New Year's Eve looks to put together and only one New Year's Eve. So we'll see which one wins. Or maybe I'll just do a week of New Year's Eve type looks and put them out the week before New Year's Eve to give you all some ideas of what kind of fun you can create. So anyways, this is my latest little shopping haul. I hope you enjoyed it. Is there any products in here you want me to test before others? Do you like these products? Are there some that you've thought about purchasing you hadn't? Or are there products that have been out there that you've wondered why I haven't purchased them? So anyways, put down all of your comments below. I love interacting with the YouTube audience. I thank you so much for joining my channel today. And I, like I like to say, you have a choice, so make it a great one. Until next time.